Hello everyone, welcome back to ABOC Studio, and you are here with Natalie. Today's video is an in-depth tutorial for this bikini set. It is quick and easy, perfect for beginners. Also, the pattern comes in three sizes. I hope you enjoy your crochet project. Now let's start. For this project, we're going to use DK yarn in two colors. And 50 grams of each color should be enough for even the largest size. Then we're going to use 4 mm crochet hook and as usual, scissors and yarn needle to weave our ends in. Start with the bikini top, we're going to make these cups and they are basically triangle. Here you can see. And here I use this orange as the main color and the light green for edging and straps. For this tutorial, I'm going to use this sage green as my main color. Okay, so at this beginning, we don't have to worry about sizes yet because for the cup, all sizes start with a chain of three. And to make chain, you're first going to need a slip knot. You're going to hold your yarn like this. This is the tail of your yarn and this is your working yarn. Make a loop with two of your finger with the working yarn like this. And then pull the working yarn through that loop and tight. This is your slip knot. You're going to put this slip knot onto your hook and close it to the size of your hook. Now, remember that the loops on your hook should always stay close to the size of the hook. It shouldn't be too loose and shouldn't be too tight that it's hard to work with. To make chain, you simply yarn over and pull through. Every time you yarn over and pull through, you make a chain. That's your first chain. Now we're going to make the second one. Yarn over and pull through. Just like that. When you look at the pattern, you see that it tells you to loosen up the third chain so you just pull to loosen it up a little bit two times bigger than the normal chain and then you yarn over pull through now you can see that your third chain it's about twice bigger than the other we're gonna start our first row with two double crochet into this first chain you can see that each chain shaped like little v's and we're gonna insert our hook into the top loop of this first V right under this loop okay now for double crochet you're gonna yarn over to have two loops on your hook insert your hook into this first chain draw our loop with this working yarn draw our loop to have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through two loops to be back to one loop that is your first double crochet, okay? Now, another one, yarn over, insert your hook into this same place, same first chain. With the working yarn, draw our loop. Now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that's two double crochet work in the same first chain. Now, you can see here that we have three stitches. This chain two, which is the second chain, and the third chain that we loosen up, it's count as a stitch. So we have one, two, three stitches here, okay? Now, to finish this round, we're gonna chain two. One, and then for the second chain, again, we're gonna loosen it up about two times bigger than the normal chain and then yarn over, pull through. Okay, you can see that it's bigger. This second chain is bigger than this one, okay? Okay, now we're gonna turn our work and move on to the second row. For the second row, you can see in the pattern that we're gonna work double crochet into this first stitch. And here you can see you have three stitches, one, two, three, and then on this first stitch you will see little v on top of it so you're going to insert your hook right under this v okay take both loops again double crochet yarn over insert your hook draw a loop 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and then we're gonna double crochet into this second stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, draw our loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then for the last stitch, which is the chain two right here with the second chain that will loosen up, you will see this little hole right next to two top loops like this, okay? You're gonna see a little hole right under it. And that's where we want to insert our hook. This is the reason why we always loosen up our second chain. Otherwise, this, loop, this hole will be very small, very hard to see, and it's gonna hard to work with. Okay, follow the pattern. We're gonna work two double crochet in this last stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook right there in the hole under these two loops of the second chain. Draw our loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And another one, yarn over, insert your hook, draw our loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now to finish the round, again, we're gonna chain two and loosen up our second chain. Yarn over, pull through, and loosen up, yarn over, pull through. Just like that. We're gonna turn our work and before we move on to row number three, I just want to explain a little bit about the pattern. Just because I feel like it's good for beginners to really understand what you're doing here, okay? So normally when you work on a double crochet flat surface, the pattern will tell you to work your first stitch into this second stitch and skip this first stitch. That is because this chain two or chain three depends on the pattern. Um, this chain it's already count as a stitch and so this first stitch already has a stitch that is this chain and so if we work in this first stitch we basically increase one stitch right here and that is exactly what we want here because we making a triangle and we're gonna increase one stitch on each side of the row Okay, now follow the pattern for row number three. We're gonna double crochet into this first stitch. Okay, so you can see that this first stitch has two stitch, which is this double crochet we just made in this chain two. And so it means that we increase one stitch by working two stitch in one stitch. Okay. Now we're gonna double crochet into each stitch across until this last stitch, which is the chain two, and we're gonna work two double crochet in the last stitch, okay? Double crochet. Okay, and for this last stitch, which is the chain two, and this is the second stitch that we lose up, you can see a little hole right under these two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook, and work a double crochet, and then another double crochet as your last stitch for this row. Okay? Now, again, to finish the round, you're gonna chain two and loosen up the second chain. And turn our work. Now I'm gonna go with you one more time for the row number four, even though there's nothing new, we just repeat the same process. Okay, so we double crochet into this first stitch. And then double crochet across until the end. And then for this last stitch here, we're gonna work two double crochet. Okay, now we're gonna chain two to finish the round, loosen up a second chain and turn. Now from row five, you can follow the pattern that I put on the screen.
Now, when you get to the end of your last row here, I have three stitches left. I'm going to I'm going to work this and then I'm going to show you how to bind off. You're going to work double crochet as normal. And then two double crochet in this last stitch for the last row. And then to bind up, you simply chain one and then cut, leave a long tail to weaves in later, okay? So cut and then pull and then tight and that's it. Okay. Okay. Now moving on, we're gonna work edging for this triangle and we're gonna take our new yarn if you don't want this to be another color you can use the same color okay here I'm gonna use this cream color for the edge now we're gonna insert our new yarn right in this corner you can see this is the bottom where you bind off and we're gonna insert our yarn right here okay you can see here it's the chain 2 of this row and you're going to insert your hook right into this um, the second chain that you loosen up, okay? Right here, right under two, the two loops. And then you're going to bring your new yarn in there and tie it, okay? Like that. And now you're going to insert your hook into the same place and chain one. For edging, we're going to work half double crochet instead of double crochet, okay? So it's really similar to double crochet. Half double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into this first stitch right here, draw our loop to have three loops on your hook. At this point, it's still very similar to double crochet, but for half double crochet, you're not going to yarn over and pull through two, two times. Instead, you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops all three loops on your hook and that's how you work a half double crochet that is your first half double crochet okay now moving on to the next one again yarn over insert your hook to the next stitch draw our loop yarn over and pull through all that's it you're gonna keep doing half double crochet all the way until the end and meet me right here in this corner I'm gonna show you what to do next okay Okay, I'm at the end and I have two stitches left, you can see here. I'm gonna work that. Put this toe to the side. Okay. Again. The last one. Okay. Now, when you get to this corner, you're gonna work another another half double crochet into the same place to make a turn right here, okay? So another one in the same place. Okay, now we're gonna start working work the edge for this side of the double crochet, and it's not and it's gonna be different to the top where you see it's all nice and neat and it's very easy to see where to insert your hook but here we work on the side of the stitches and they are all messy and loopy and different and that's why i won't be able to tell you exactly where to insert your hook but i'm gonna give you three tips um so that you can do this easily okay the first tip is to find this closest loop that you see on the way so here, I'll see this loop, it's the closest loop, so I'm going to work a half double crochet in there. Take it like that, here, this loop, 
and then work a half double crochet like that and the second tip it's not to work another stitch in the same place so when you see this loop or some loop on the way that it's a little bit big and you might wonder if you should work another stitch into the same place you don't want to do it and you want to move right on to the next closest loop that you see so here I'll see this one it's the closest loop okay and work my half double crochet okay and the last tip is to take only one loop at a time so sometimes you see two loops and you might find it hard to take only one loop and you feel like it's easier to take two loops like this that's not what you want to do and try to take only one loop at a time so here I'm gonna insert my hook right there take only one loop and work a half double crochet like that okay and again the first tip it's not to work another stitch in the same place so I'm gonna move right on to this one and take only one loop here you can see that sometimes you will you will feel like the closest loop it's too hard to take you want to skip it and move to the next one that's not what you want to do try to take the closest loop okay so I'll take this one right there and work a half double crochet and with this tip you just keep going like that until you get to with this tip you just keep going like that until you get to this this top corner and meet me right there I will show you what to do okay Here you can see that I've reached to this corner and I have one loop left to work my half double crochet in. I'm just gonna do that. And then again, we're gonna work two half double crochet into this corner right here, top corner you can see. Okay, so two half double crochet in there. one and then another one right in the same place okay okay now you can move on to this to the other side and follow the same process and tip that you did for this side meet me right in the end and I will show you what to do here okay And then in this corner, we're gonna work another half double crochet into this same place that we uh, join our yarn in and chain one, right? So right here, I'm gonna work a half double crochet in there. Okay, now to bind off, you're gonna insert your hook right here into this first stitch that uh, first half double crochet stitch that you made, and then draw our loop. Draw that loop through the loop on your hook and now tighten it up, chain one and cut. Leave a long enough tails to weave in later and tighten it up like that. And that's it. This is our first triangle. Okay, now that when you have two triangles, we're gonna make the straps for the bikini top. And for the strap, we're gonna work double-stranded yarn. So it basically basically you're just gonna put two strands of yarn together to work as one. Um, if you have another bolt of yarn in the same color, you can just use that. But if you have just one bowl of yarn like me, we're gonna separate this bowl into two bowls and you're just gonna roll it. Okay. 
Okay, this should be enough for even our bikini bottom. So you can cut it. And now we're gonna put these two strands of yarn together and pull to work as one, okay? So for the straps, you're gonna insert, you're gonna first, we're gonna first with the neck straps. And you see here in the corner, we work two half double crochet in the same place. That's where we want to insert our new yarn in for this for the neck straps. So you insert your hook right in the middle between the stitches and then you pull your double strands yarn through that and tighten them up like that okay now uh, we're gonna start making a long enough cha chain okay you insert your hook into the same place draw a loop and then start making chain by just yarn over and pull through. And you're gonna need a long enough chain and I will put the measurement for each side on the screen, okay? Now that this chain is long enough for me, I can just cut. We don't need a long tail because this one we, we won't weave in. So just cut it and pull really tight. Okay. And now you can just cut it really close to the chain like that. And that's it. You're going to repeat the same process for this one, okay? Okay, now that we're done with the neck straps, we're going to make the body straps. And it's basically an uh, individual long chain. And again, we're going to use our double-stranded yarn and make a really long chain. I will put the measurement for each side on the screen. We start with a slip knot. And then just yarn over and pull through for the chain until it's long enough for your size, okay? Now that I have a long enough chain, I'm gonna just cut and pull. And then we pull really tight to really close this knot and then we can cut really close to the chain and then repeat here to the other ends and cut really close okay now i'm gonna show you how to put to put this into the bottom of the top we're gonna start we're gonna start at, the, at this corner, okay? You're gonna put your, you're gonna use your yarn needle, insert your hook into this corner, like that, and, and pull your chain in there. It's gonna be a little bit hard at first in the corner, but it's gonna get easier, okay? So you just try to pull it out of the corner like that. And then here you're gonna start putting into this, put it into this uh, stitches and you're gonna count. We're gonna skip a stitch, we're gonna skip a space and then put it in the next space. So here is where I want to put it in. And then again, here you skip a space and put it in here. You want to put your chain in between 
in between the double crochet st uh, the half double crochet stitches here okay so again skip this space and put it in here all the way until the end and I will meet you right here and then put it into the corner Now we can pull and bring this to the other side of the cup, to the other cup and do the same thing. So we're going to move on to our bikini bottom and as you can see here, the back it's a thong and this is what we're going to do. If you want a bottom that it's more kind of a cover up your butt bottom, then please leave a comment down below. I will consider making another tutorial for that, okay? We're going to start from the back right here. Our first, this is our first row and then all the way to the front and then again we're going to do edging and the straps for the bikini bottom we're going to start with a number of chain that our size tell us to and then for the last chain our pattern tell us to loosen it up so we loosen it up and then we yarn over pull through like that okay now for our first row we're gonna work our first double crochet into the third chain right here the first chain the second chain and the third one now you yarn, yarn over insert your hook and then work a double crochet as you did before and just like that you're gonna work double crochet in each of this chain until the end and we'll meet right here this is my last chain and I'm just gonna work in that and then as usual we chain two loosen up a second chain like that and then we turn our work So here on this row, we won't increase stitches like what we did for the triangle. That's why we're not going to work in this first stitch and we're going to work in the second stitch. So we're going to work a double crochet into the second stitch. And then as you can see, we're going to skip the next stitch. And this is because we want to decrease one stitch on each side of the row for, for the back of the bikini bottom. So we're not going to work in here, we're going to skip it and work in the next one, a double crochet. And then we're going to work double crochet into each stitch across until, until you have three stitches left on the row like this. One, two, three. The third, the last one, it's the chain two. I'm going to meet you right there to show you what to do, okay? Now that I have three stitches left, one, two, and three, which is the chain two, I'm gonna skip this first stitch, this one, okay? And work in the next one, like that. And work a double crochet into this last one. Like that, and then we're gonna chain two, loosen up our second chain 
and then turn our work. For the next few rows, we're gonna repeat pretty much the same process as the last row, but I'm gonna go with you one more time and then you can follow the pattern on the screen, okay? So you yarn over and double crochet in the second stitch right next to this one, okay? And then you're gonna skip this next stitch and work in the next one. And double crochet across into each stitch until you get to the end when you have three stitches left. When you have three stitches left like this, we're gonna skip this one and work in the next one. And then work our last stitch in this chain two. Okay, now you, again you're gonna chain two, loosen up your second chain and turn. Now you can follow the pattern that I put on the screen for you, okay? Now when you get here, we're gonna finish the row again with a chain of two and loosen up the second chain. And for a few next row, we're not gonna do any increase or decrease. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna work double crochet in the second stitch. And then each stitch across. And then in this last one, which is the chain two, with the second chain, we loosen up like that. And again, we chain two, loosen up our second chain, turn our work, and then work another row just the same. Work double crochet in the second stitch, and then across until the end. And we're just gonna repeat the process like that so you can follow the pattern that I put on the screen for you and pay attention to the size you are working on, okay? Again, we're gonna chain two, loosen up our second chain, and turn our work. On our next round, we are again gonna increase stitches on each side of this row. So we're gonna work our first double crochet into this first stitch. And then each stitch across until the last stitch, we're gonna work two double crochet in there, okay? And then two double crochet in this last stitch. Like that. And now we're gonna chain two, loosen up our second chain and turn. For the next round, we're not gonna increase anything, so we're gonna double crochet in the second stitch. And then each stitch across until the end. And again, chain two, loosen up our second chain and turn our work. On this row, again, we're gonna increase one stitch on each side. So we're gonna double crochet in our first stitch and then each stitch across until the end. And 
and then two double crochet into this last stitch and then chain two loosen our second chain for the next round we're not going to increase anything and just going to work double crochet in the second stitch and each stitch across until the end and the process is going to be pretty much the same so follow the pattern that i put on the screen for you okay Okay, so as you can see here, what we did is that we alternately crochet a row of increasing on each side and then a row of uh, just double crochet, not increasing any stitches. And just like that, one increasing row and one not increasing row. So from now on, what we do is that we're going to increase uh, one stitch on each side of the row for every row until the end, okay? So again, you're going to chain two turn your work and then double crochet into the first stitch and then each stitch across until the end and then for this last stitch we work two double crochet in there And then chain two, loosen up your second, and then chain two, loosen up your second chain, turn your work, and again, work double crochet in the first stitch, and then each stitch across until the end, and two double crochet in the last stitch, and we're just gonna repeat that until our last row. So follow the pattern for your size that I put on the screen, and meet me at the end of your last row. I'll show you how to bind off and what we're gonna do next, okay? Okay, now that we've finished, we're gonna bind off by just chain one and cut, leave a long enough tails so that we can weave in later and pull real tight on it, okay? Okay, now we're gonna take our new yarn and insert it in whichever corner you want but I'm gonna insert it right here and you can see here, I'm gonna insert my new yarn in this corner and then tighten it up we're gonna repeat the same process of working the edge for this piece just as we did before with the triangle just remember uh, to follow three rules or three tips for this side of the stitches um, on top and then the end of the stitches should be easy because they are very um, nice and even you're just gonna insert the hook right under the V on top of each, each stitch like that and remember when you got to the corner we're gonna work two double crochet in the corner just so that um, they can turn so that the stitches can turn okay so I'm gonna repeat I'm gonna go with you uh, until this corner, okay? So first you're gonna insert your hook into the same corner, into the same place that you um, put your new yarn in and draw our loop and then chain one. And now we're gonna work half double crochet for edging as before. We're gonna yarn over, insert our hook into the same place where we chain one here, draw our loop, yarn over and pull through. And now for this, we can just half double crochet into each of this stitch. 
you see right on top of it, you see this V, and you want to insert the hook right under that V for each stitch, okay? And just keep repeating that. And I'm gonna meet you again right here in at this corner. Okay, I have two stitches left, one stitch is left until I get to this corner. I'm gonna work my half double crochet in there and then when I get to this corner I will work two half double crochet in there so one and then two you can put this tail over here and work your second half double crochet and then again for this side of the stitches we're gonna follow three rules as we did before for the triangle to work the edging and then and we just repeat the same process that we did before so I'm gonna skip this part and I will meet you right here when we finish this when we finish all of this edging and I'm sure I will show you how to again to join the round and bind off okay Okay, so here I have worked half double crochet for this last loop. I'm gonna work another half double crochet into the same place that I insert my yarn here. And then I'm gonna slip knot into this first stitch. So you insert your hook under the V on top of this first half double crochet, okay? You draw our loop and you draw that loop through the loop on your hook tighten it up and chain one and now we can cut leave a long enough tails to weep in later like that okay now this is how the piece should look like and you might wonder if it's look a little off remember that we still have four um tie string that we're gonna use to tie it on our hip and the crochet piece does stretch out a little bit so it's gonna be like this right something like that for the tie string we're gonna again use a uh, double stranded yarn just like the way we did before for the bikini top um you're gonna insert your hook into the corner one of the corner i'm gonna insert it right here Right. Again, you draw it out, tighten it up, then insert your hook into the same place, draw our loop, and then start making chain. We're gonna need a long enough chain depending on our size and I will put that measurement on the screen, okay? And then you're gonna repeat the same thing for this three corner corners left remember to weave your ends in at the end and then I see you with the final product 